So before I get somebody dressed, I do like to make sure I have all of my items together so I don't have to leave in the middle of it. So I have my shirt, my underwear, socks, tie, pants, scissors for alterating the clothes in case they need it, and then my gloves. Let's get started. So now that I've showed you what I'm actually dressing more in today, I'm going to show you a few other things just so you kind of know what I'm talking about. So after someone is embalmed, we do place them on what's called a dressing table. A dressing table has many uses. Not only did this person get dressed on the table, we also do the makeup and the hair as well. So what you've also noticed maybe is the towel over Mort. So when someone passes away and we embalm them, they are naked. So what we do is we give them the dignity of covering them up during the embalming. Until we get clothes on them, we normally keep a towel or a sheet on them just to help them maintain their dignity, even in death. So if it's a woman, we do lay the towel out completely. If it's a man, he definitely gets his private parts covered up. Normally when we take that off is just as I'm slipping the underwear up the legs or the pants, depending if you have underwear. And no, you don't have to have underwear on when you die. So let's get started. Normally, what I would do is I'm gonna put on a pair of gloves because I'm gonna try and make this authentic as possible. So here I am, I'm gonna put on my gloves. And I've showed you my clothing, so I'm gonna step just out of screen for just a minute and get those. And I'm gonna start with underwear and socks. And the reason why is the underwear goes on before the pants and the socks are just a whole lot easier to put on when there's no pants. So what I do is I leave the towel on until I get the underwear up to the knees. So we're gonna have our underwear. No comments about the underwear. Yes, I know, they're tidy whities but you know what? Every person is different. So what I do is I place the feet in the holes and I just move them up the legs. So you see, it's now hit the towel with the underwear, so now I do move the towel. Don't worry, Mort does not have any private areas, so this will not get censored out. All right. Yes, Mort's a little more limber than everybody, so normally I would lift the leg up to be able to lift the pants and the underwear up just a little bit. I have to remember that. He's a little bit more pliable than my normal people, so I have to take it easy. So now I'm gonna do the socks. I do socks just like you would your socks. Place them on the feet. It is raining here, so hopefully that thunder will not interrupt the light. Okay, so again, socks are on Mort. There you go. He has both socks on. So, now that he has his underwear and his socks on, we're going to move towards the pants. So here are his pants. So what I do unbutton them, unzip them, so what I do is I take my hand and I fish it through the pants. Then I have a nice big hole. I can place the leg and the foot in. Get it all the way up until the foot is coming out of the pants. Then I would normally swing, that's a strong word, maneuver the table around to where I can go to the other side, but you looking at my back is probably not the best idea. So like I said, hand through the pants, foot, pull, there you go. So we at least have the pants all the way up to the knees. How do we get it further, you ask? Well, we lift again, we lift the leg and we place the pants on. Now again, this is a little bit easier because Mort is so light and his legs are very bendable. So I don't button the pants yet. And let me tell you why. 
because some people like to wear their shirt tucked in. So what I'm gonna do, I just heard a noise, it scared me a little bit. Um, so what I'm gonna do, so I get a lot of questions about cutting the clothes. I don't like to say the word cut, I alterate the clothes just a little bit to be able to place them on your loved one. Now we have tons of people that bring us clothes that are too small, so obviously we have to do something to make them fit. So here's the shirt, and I'm actually gonna place it over here. I'm gonna move around a little bit. Move this just a little closer. See if we can bend this down. There. So as you see, I'm gonna take my scissors and I am going to cut, alterate up the back. Now that you see, I always check to make sure that I am not cutting the front of the shirt. Yes, I have done that, tragic event, just don't even ask. Everybody does it once in their career. So I cut all the way up. To the collar so I can slip it over the head so it, it's not cut all the way so here we go let's try this again all right so we have our shirt and button the top button all right so I'm going to do this from an odd angle but again just like the pants I'm going to take my hand and fish it through the arm Make sure that the sleeves are not buttoned yet. And then you're just gonna slip the arm right through. Now, question, how do we get that over here? Great, so I actually bundle it up just a little bit and scoot it underneath the person's head. Why? Because again, I don't like cutting the clothes all the way. So now that we've gotten that side in, I'm going to do the same thing with this side. Get my arm all the way up. Again, sleeves not buttoned. Now this side sometimes is tricky. So you do have to lift the arm up and place the shirt on. And again, when it is a real human person, can be a little more difficult than this. So now that I've gotten some shirt on him, you're going to button it. Let's see. The buttons are a little more tricky. Sorry if it's taking me a minute. All right, so now that we've done that, I'm going to tuck his shirt in. So I lift it up. It's an extra long shirt because Mort is so short. All right. So now we take it, we button it up, the pants. Okay, poor little Mort. <laughs> His little pants are so long, and he looks like an old grandpa with his little pants all the way up by his chest. So, here's the question. The tie, that's the tricky part, and that's coming up. So now I'm gonna show you how I tie the tie. So, take the tie, pop the collar, Now, I am not the world's best tire, so I'm going to try and do this. Yep, yep, this way. Here, here. My ROTC teachers would be fairly upset with me. Why? 
because we were supposed to learn how to tie a tie in case those boys didn't know how to tie it. So, this is what we got today. My tie is not necessarily the best because again, I am not a great tire of ties. So put the collar down. There you go. So not bad at all. So here we go. Mort is dressed for his service down to his socks. I could not find shoes that were small enough for him. Uh, the clothes are a little, a little big, but that's okay. So there you go. There's Mort. Oh, I forgot to button the sleeves on the shirt, so I'll do that. But other than that, he is ready for his service.